hi if you like to see how i created this look please keep watching so the first thing you want to go ahead and do is brush your eyebrow but if you brush it without any brow gel it may scatter so you need to use a brow gel or a brow tamer this will help to keep the eyebrow in place as you can see the brow is now well placed so my eyebrow is well laid now go in with a brow gel this one is from Zarum cosmetic and I use that to stroke my brows to just give it a line just like my natural brow this will give you a natural effect as you can see it's not too structured it's just there so I'm literally just using it to fill my eyebrow I'll now be going in with this concealer from divine makeup to highlight my eyebrow I am not using any um, brush set I'm just using the wand from the concealer bottle to you know highlight the eyebrow so I like to bring my concealer a little bit down this way it will be easier for it to blend out it will not just leave one straight line cast under your brow as you can see from the video so the next thing I'm doing is using this concealer this is a dark concealer from divine gold I'm using it as a base for my eyeshadow so I created kind of like a cut crease for the eyeshadow shape So I went ahead to use another light concealer to um, highlight my under eye and the top of my brows just to give um, everything structure but do not be afraid I'm just um, doing this to have kind of like a highlight effect around that area I'm gonna still blend it out with my foundation so I'm just using a blending brush to blend my under eye I'm using a beauty sponge to make sure everything is well blended I'm using a powder a dark powder to set that concealer that I used on my eyelid like I said it's like a cut crease but <laughs> I eventually changed my mind I eventually blended everything out I don't know why I changed my mind but anyone you want to do is still fine you can leave it as a cut crease or you can just you know blend it out so I think the spirit of add more add more <laughs> was kind of telling me to just blend it out and I still loved the way it came out so there is literally no eyeshadow this is just a concealer as a base and then a deep dark powder as the shadow so I'm just using a blending brush to make sure everything is blended this moment I went in with a gel liner in black to line my eyelid am I the only one that make funny faces while doing their eyeliner <laughs> So I'm just using my finger to just blend that liner that I used on my eyelid. I now went ahead to use my eyelashes. This eyelash is from Mismetics. So I had gone ahead to use um, foundation. I went in with a foundation from Divine Gold. I mixed two shades in Deep Dark and Ivory to get my shade and take a look at how beautiful that foundation looks on my face i'm now going in with a liquid blush for this one i used the one from um, divine gold it is actually a lip gloss but i used it as a blush i then went ahead to highlight my under eye even more this, um, this actually is optional if you want a more you know <clears throat> structure to your face you can go ahead and do this or skip this part but this kind of gives you a more youthful look 
and makes your um, under eye bright and makes you look you know awake in some kind of way but can we see the way that concealer blended perfectly into the skin i highly recommend this product that i'm using if you would like to purchase it you can um send me a message so i will tell you how you can get it for this part i went in with avo cosmetics translucent powder to set my under eye and then the rest of my face so i also went in with that translucent powder to set my eyebrow i went in with a dark shade of powder to give back structure to my face so i'm kind of giving a bronzy effect contouring the side of my um cheekbones the bridge of my nose to make it look slimmer and also my forehead i also went in with a blush to kind of give saturation and color to my face trying to blend everything together but can we see how that came out everything is coming together my face is having more structure and I'm just so happy with the way everything blended so I'm just using powder to set the edges of my lips because I'll be going in with a uh, lipstick this one i think is from adventure cosmetics and i'm using this particular shade it's kind of a brown shade to line my lip so i now went all over my lip with the same shade I'm using this concealer in deep dark to line the outer edge of my lips it's gonna give it um, kind of a structure and add depth to the edge can we see how that came out um, I basically just um, went ahead to use a dark eyeshadow to set the lip because I wanted it to be more matte and I also wanted to blend out the edge and the main lipstick so using a mascara to you know um, add depth and color to my bottom lashes so this is the look guys this is it's matte without any shimmer without any highlighter without gloss um this is how it turned out yes it's beautiful it's flawless but you can also go ahead and add gloss if you like or you can go ahead and add um your highlight your cream highlight or a loose or powdered highlight for this i used the lip gloss the lustrous lip gloss from divine gold as a base for my main highlight it is giving i literally just added um a lip gloss in an orange shade from divine gold to the lips and then I went ahead to add a loose highlighter from La Porta Cosmetics on the apple of my cheeks. This is the final look. Thank you so much for sticking with me to the end of this video. I really, really appreciate it. Please subscribe to my channel. And also kindly leave me some love in the comment section below. Thank you. Bye.